Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary journey of a tech guru who revolutionized the way we connect and communicate with each other. That's right, we're talking about none other than the visionary behind Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. We've gone from having around 150,000 people in the fall to right around 3 million now, so that's pretty cool. The website he started in his dorm room when he was only 19 years old is one of the most influential in the world with profiles of more than a quarter of the world's population. Zuckerberg became a self-made billionaire before his 24th birthday. But how is that possible? We are going to find out in today's episode. Mark Zuckerberg was born on May 14, 1984, in White Plains, New York. His mother, Karen, worked as a psychiatrist, and his father, Edward Zuckerberg, worked as a dentist. Mark has three sisters, Ariel, Randy, and Donna, and they were all raised in a Reformed Jewish household in Dobbs Ferry, New York. Mark initially attended Ardsley High School and later transferred to Phillips Exeter Academy, where he was the captain of the fencing team. At age eight, Zuckerberg developed an interest in writing computer software. When his father noticed this rare talent, he hired a private tutor to help his son realize his full potential. And in no time, Zuckerberg had become proficient enough to build some of his own projects. Most of you know him for creating Facebook, but before this breakthrough, Zuckerberg had already created some incredible projects. While in high school, he built a program that allowed all the computers between his house and his father's dental office to communicate with each other. In collaboration with his friend Adam D'Angelo, they also built Synapse Media Player, an artificial intelligence media player that not only played your MP3, but also used machine learning to learn the user's listening habits and give them suggestions based on it. The app was posted to Slashdot and received a rating of 3 out of 5 from PC Magazine. This project also drew the attention of big software companies, including Microsoft, who offered him a rumored $1 million for the software and a job before college. Despite that job offer, Zuckerberg chose to attend Harvard. Reporting that there is an email from Harvard. Is that correct? Yay. What? I got accepted. Are you serious? Yeah. All right! Zuckerberg graduated from high school and joined Harvard University in 2002. At the university, he studied psychology and computer science. In his second year, he wrote a program that he called Course Match, which allowed students to make class selection decisions based on the choices of other students and help them form study groups. Later in October 2003, he created another app which he called it Face Mash. The app allowed students to select the best-looking person from a choice of photos. Visitors to the site had to choose who was hotter, and according to the votes, there would be a ranking. Face Mash was an instant hit. The site went up over a weekend, but by Monday morning, the college had to shut it down because its popularity had overwhelmed one of Harvard's network switches, preventing students from accessing the internet. In addition, many students complained that their photos were being used without permission. Zuckerberg was punished by the administration and narrowly escaped expulsion from the college. You got into deep trouble from this little prank. Yeah. You're well, Harvard was just not happy that I was using their images and... Yeah, well, they said you hacked. Mm -hmm. Did they punish you? Yeah, I was put on some sort of, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Um, Probation? Sure. Despite the events that occurred after Face Mash, Zuckerberg was not giving up anytime soon. In January 2004, he was already working on another application. The application was thefacebook.com the app that would later make him one of the richest individuals in the world. On February 4, 2004, Zuckerberg launched The Facebook in his dorm room with his roommates, Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskowitz, and Chris Hughes. Facebook was also an instant hit. Within 24 hours of launching it, more than 1,000 students had signed up to the platform. The idea of The Facebook was to convert the physical books the university issued with the pictures of all the students online and allow students to update their profiles with more recent pictures. It also allowed students to see what other students were talking about and their relationship status. Six days after the site was launched, three Harvard seniors, Cameron Winklevoss, Tyler Winklevoss, and Divya Narendra, accused Zuckerberg of stealing their idea. These three seniors had previously approached Zuckerberg to help them finish their project HavardConnection.com. They accused Zuckerberg of intentionally misleading them into believing that he would help them build their social network, 
called HarvardConnection.com while he was using their ideas to build a competing product. Claiming that you stole their idea for Facebook. Well, I mean, we know that we didn't steal any ideas or code, so we're just kind of waiting until that comes out in court. After the official launch of the Facebook social media platform, the three filed a lawsuit against Zuckerberg, and in 2008, the case was settled, and Facebook agreed to transfer over 1.2 million common shares and pay $20 million in cash. At first, Zuckerberg's Facebook started off as just a Harvard thing until he decided to spread it to other schools. With the help of his roommates, they began with Columbia, Stanford, and Yale University. And within four months, they had expanded to more than 40 colleges. During the summer of their sophomore year, Zuckerberg and the other co-founders moved to Palo Alto, California, where they leased a small house that served as an office. In that summer, Zuckerberg met Peter Thiel, who invested $500,000 in his company for a 10.2% stake, a pretty solid investment. They got their first office in mid-2004. The group's initial plan was to return to Harvard after the summer. But after convincing Peter Thiel to invest in the company, they decided to drop out of college and remain in California to concentrate on building the company. When are you going back to school? Well, that's unclear. I am 21, but I finished my sophomore year and came out to Palo Alto, fully expecting that I'd actually go back to Harvard in the fall, but didn't quite make it after Peter put his money in. But um, <laughs> we started building a company instead. This was because Facebook's popularity was growing rapidly, and it was all a matter of timing. At that point, major corporations offered to buy the company, but Zuckerberg and his team turned them down. They had several challenges, but they continued to work extremely hard, and that paid off in the long run as they reached 1 million users in early 2005. They continued to add more features, such as the ability to share photos and post on other people's walls, and the company's evaluation kept growing. First forward, Facebook went public, and later on the company was valued at over $100 billion, which made all the founders instant billionaires while still in their early mid-20s. Apart from Facebook, Zuckerberg owns other several companies which include Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus VR, Intercom, Threads, and many other companies. This puts him among the richest people in the world, with a net worth approximated to $177 billion. I think it's time for my workout. Although some people say that Zuckerberg acts like a robot or an alien, he also has a personal life and a family, just like any other human being. In 2003, Zuckerberg met his fellow Harvard student Priscilla Chan at a frat party during his sophomore year, and they began dating in that same year. In September 2010, Chan, who was by then a medical student at the University of California, moved into Zuckerberg's rented house in Palo Alto. Later in May 2012, the two got married and started a family together. Chan experienced three miscarriages before giving birth to their daughter, Maxima Chan Zuckerberg, who was born on December 1, 2015. Their second daughter was born in August 2017, and their third daughter, Aurelia, in March 2023. Mark Zuckerberg is also a philanthropist who contributes a huge amount of his fortune to charity. Together with his wife, Chan, they founded the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, whose mission is to help build a more inclusive, just, and healthy future for everyone. During his free time from his busy schedule, Zuckerberg goes for mixed martial arts and Brazilian jiu-jitsu training sessions. He competed in a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament on May 6, 2023, and won both a silver and gold medal, competing at the white belt, the beginner rank. As he once said, the biggest risk is not taking any risk. And Mark Zuckerberg embodies this philosophy, fearlessly navigating the ever-changing landscape of the digital world. So, as we wrap up, let's appreciate the man who reshaped the way we interact online. As always, thanks for tuning in to this channel. Do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing content.